how to do an app inventor project called Find the Gold. It's a game where you tilt device, tilt your device to move the ball to the packet of gold at the other side of the screen. There are also image sprites that are actually walls that block your way. When this ball touches one of the wall images, it gets sent back to the start. Let's get started with this project. You see, I already have a template right here, but you can design your own template or you can copy mine right now. Also in the block, so we also have different blocks here. This is the this is how the ball moves. For example, the accelerometer sensor senses the y and x axles. So when y axle is for example 45, then the ball will move downwards by 45 pixels every second. And these are the words. You can type in yourself or type in your own words if you want. You can either do this or not, but we'll use it later. Let's get started coding. So we first we want the code that the ball touch when the ball touches the wall, then it will sent be sent back to the start. So how do we do this? Go to blocks in the box, ball one, and select one ball one collided with other. Do blah blah blah. So what do we want to do? We want to set, send, for example, we'll do with gold sprite. Go to control and drag an if then block. So we want if the other collided with, it could be collided with any sprite, even the walls. So how do I know which one is it? So if other, the other is equals to The gold. So go to the very bottom, drag out gold spray. So if the other equals the gold, find this block in logic. Blah 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 equals the blah blah blah. Snap it in the if block and snap these two blocks inside the empty spaces, respectively. Now we have to set the clock. Here, I forgot to tell you, there was also a clock in the accelerometer sensor. Also, we actually need a notifier later, so drag one in the designer padlet right now. It's in the user interface. Okay, let's get back to blocks. Then, first, of course, we have to set the clock. Stop the clock. So, sc scroll down until you see set clock point timer enabled to, to false which means it's off, snap it. And, and then go scroll down in the blocks and notifier one. Then find a huge block like this. Call notifier one, point show, choose dialogue, message, title, button one text, button two text, and cancel label true. Drag the whole thing out and set below the set clock timer enabled block. So first, we want to set it not cancelable. I mean, we can't cancel if we want it to quit or play again. Otherwise, you can't do anything. So set these four blocks respectively like this. You win at the message game over at the title play again and bun one text and quit in the bun two text like this finally we have to move the ball back to the responding position so go to ball one call ball one move to the following coordinates and snap it below the if then block don't snap in the wrong place so we'll move to x and y 10. go to math scroll at the very top and you'll find this teeny little block that has a math zero on it we'll set it to 10 each or you can duplicate them if you want 
There you go. Finally, we have to code that if if the person chooses the button one or button two. Right here. Actually, I'll give you a sec to look. When you reach the gold, wait for a sec, like this, touch the gold, and then something will pop out, and all the other stuff behind this pop up, pop up will blur. And so, at the title, it will say, Game Over. And then there's also a message that will say, You win. And there are two buttons at these places that said either play again here and quit here. So if we cl click play again, then of course we'll repeat this whole sentence. But if we say quilt, it'll exit the app immediately. It's really cool. So let's get started. So go to notifier one at the box, inbox. So, go to when notifier one point after choosing choice do. So, if the notifier one choice, that means if the choice, that means either you press one of the buttons, that's called a choice, is equals to quit. That means you quit. So, duplicate this block and drag it down. So, if this is equal to this. That means if the, your choice is quilt, that means you press the button quilt. So go to blocks of logic, drag out a blah 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 equals a blah 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 block, and put these in in empty spaces respectively. Finally, go to control and drag another if then block and snap it below. And this equal block, snap it beside the if empty space then we'll close the application there's also a block that do this go to control and scroll to very down until you see all these little blocks choose close application right here and the snap it below the then block and below we'll set back the clock we'll, we'll see there's already a line of code right here so we can duplicate it snap it below the if then block don't put a raw space and set it back to true. That means it's on again. And finally, we have to test this thing. So like this, put these in the corresponding direction. You can also change the paint colors in the canvas too. This is much better. Or you can upload your own picture here. Upload file in media, choose file, and then you get the file. And all the other pictures of these horizontal arrangements are also the same. If you want to connect to your tablet or iPhone, select connect at the very top of your screen and select AI companion and go to your combination app on your iPhone or tablet and scan either scan this QR code or enter this code right here. I hope you had a good time. Goodbye.